everybody. It's Katie. I am under Carly, uh, my student, because I'm having some issues with my laptop's video. Oh. Um, I can't use my normal speaker that I do. Let me know if there's any issues with volume today, and we'll try to come closer or adjust it as we can. Um, we will be using our mats and some hand weights today. And if you weren't here last week, this is Carly, my student from Wayne State. So she will be with me, um, I guess, over the next nine weeks. So she'll be joining us in our classes as well. Good morning, Carly. <laughs> Good morning. And this is Carly's final clinical. So after this, she is just has to pass her board exam and she'll be official PT. <laughs> How's it feel making it official? Feels nice. It's been a long time, so I'm excited. <laughs> nice. Okay, we're at 10, so I'm gonna go ahead and mute everyone. Sounds good, thank you. If you want to join again, or if you want to just be off camera, you can too. All right, so let's get started with our warm up here. Come to the front of your chair. Can everyone hear me okay? Okay, good. Open it goes okay without our speaker. So bring your posture up nice and tall. So chest is tall, shoulders are down and back and add a little bit of a chin tuck. Like if someone was pulling on the back of your head, it would just start to tuck your chin. So let's do a big arm raise up and exhale down. Do five more like that. Inhale up and exhale down. Big reach, wide fingers. Exhale. Three more like that. One. Big reach, two. And three. Let's do a power rock and hold. So lean down onto your knee. Use the other hand to reach up and over. I'm gonna stretch this leg out. Look up at your fingers. See if you can make them wider and see if you can push your arm further over your shoulder. Let's open and close our hands five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Reset up in the middle. Shoulder, chest up tall and big reach to the other side. Look up at your hand, spread your fingers wide, push that shoulder over a little bit further and we'll open and close for five here. One, two, three, four, and five. Reset back in the middle. We're gonna do that to each side again. And big reach up and over, look up at your hand, See if you can lean a little further this time. How far can you reach with that arm? And open and close for five. One, two, three, four, and five. Reset back in the middle. Chest is tall and to the other side. Big reach. One, two, three, four, and five. Take one hand, reach for the back of your chair. We're gonna hold this twist here. So with my right hand, I'm reaching over my left shoulder. Try to keep your posture up tall, even as you're twisting here. Reset back in the middle, and now take your left hand, reach over your right shoulder, and hold this stretch. Good, come on. Reset back in the middle. I want to do 10 exaggerated power steps. So take your left foot first, take an exaggerated step out, and lift that knee tall, coming back in. Two, 
three, and I want you to stop your foot as you're putting it down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, we're gonna move into our power moves with the sit to stand transition. So as we do the sit to stand, I'm a little bit forward on my chair, so I have some space behind me. And I want you to add a little bit of a lean back. So I'm gonna kind of sway my arms, um, I'll turn sideways so you can see me. I'm swaying my body backwards so that I can stand up with momentum. So I'll show you that again. So I'm adding a little bit, my arms are out in front, I'm leaning back so that I can build momentum and stand up tall and my arms come back. If that move feels unsafe for you, you can try keeping a hand here. Even as you lean back, you can use that hand to push up as you come up tall. So make sure that it feels safe for you. If you need to use both hands, you can use both hands too. But we're using that forward momentum to really help spring us forward. So let's do that 10 times in a row. I'm gonna lean back and then spring myself forward. One, and now sit down nice and slow. I'm gonna lean back and spring up forward. Two, sit slow, lean back and power up. <coughs> Three, get ready. Four, so we're really using that momentum going forward to help us with that transfer. Lean back and lean forward. Five, halfway done. Get ready. Six, you guys are looking great. Get ready. Seven, get ready. Eight. <coughs> Get ready, nine, get ready, and 10. <coughs> so now we're gonna do our power rock as we still do that sit to stand transfer. So I'm gonna still complete that forward lean to help me stand, but as I'm standing, I'm gonna reach up and look up at my hand. I'm gonna sit back down slow to reset and then we'll switch power up as you stand. And so you can't see my feet, but I'm up on my toes on this side, opposite to the way that I'm reaching and rolling onto my toes on that foot. So let's go back and forth 10 times, resetting our posture in the middle after we've come back to sitting before we go to the other side. Really remember that big forward lean as you get up. Ready? One. Sit down slow, reset. Two, sit slow. Three, look up at your hands, spread your fingers wide. Four, five, get ready. Six, get ready. Seven, Get ready, eight, get ready, nine, get ready, and 10. Nice job, those look great. So for the power twist, I'm starting with my arms wide. Arms are gonna stay wide as I do, as I start to lean forward, I'm bringing my arm across to twist. I'm pivoting on this back foot. Open my arms wide to reset and sitting down. So again, I start with my arms wide and I'm using my forward momentum as I start to lean forward to bring that arm across to clap. Open to reset. All right, so we're gonna switch side to side. Again, if you wanna break this down a little bit so that you can use your hands to help you with the transfer, that's totally fine. You can use your hands to help you push to stand and then add your twist and use your hands to help you sit. So that's a great option as well. If you're staying seated, follow along doing your seated power twist. 
Let's alternate side to side. We'll do 10 all together. So ready, lean forward. One. Sit down slow. Other side. Two. Get ready. Three. Get ready. Four. Get ready. Five. Get ready. Six. Get ready. Seven. Get ready. Eight. Get ready. Nine. Get ready. And 10. All right. Last sit to stand transitional movement that we're going to do is our power step. So we're going to step out first, stand up, step back together, and sit down. So step wide, stand up. I'm going to switch it around. I different from how I first showed you. Just keep your feet wide as you sit and then bring your feet back in together. So it's kind of the concept like if you were getting out of your car, stepping your foot over the side of that car to, to stand up and then the reverse to sit down. So again, I'll show it because I, I changed it on you. So I'm gonna step my foot wide, gonna keep my feet wide and stand up. Then I'm gonna keep my feet wide like this as I sit down, bring my foot back in. And I'm going to have us alternate sides as we do that. So you can start with either foot you want to first. So go ahead and step wide, stand up, nice and controlled sitting down, step your foot back in. Now to the other side, step wide, stand up, keep your feet wide, sit down, step together. That's two, step wide, three, sit together, step wide, four, sit together, step five, sit together, step six, sit together, step seven, sit together, step eight, sit together, step nine, sit together, last one, wide step, and 10, sit, and step back together. Nice job, you all did well with that. So just a different way to vary our power moves during that transition of sit to stand. When you're thinking about your sit to stand the rest of today, really think about that forward momentum that we were practicing as one of the best tools you have to keep that transfer strong. So we're gonna do some strength intervals today. We're gonna to do two exercises that will flip back and forth between a minute on, a minute off. So we'll do two rounds of each of them. So if you have your mat, go ahead and put that down. We're gonna start with a kneeling position for our first exercise. And I want you to practice the transition of getting up and down from the ground. So you can do this with your chair or something next to you so you have hand support. But essentially, I'm going to have us practice with one leg up, pushing up to standing, and then alternate what leg you use. Step back with the other leg and come down into that other knee. So now my other knee is up. I'm going to use my hands, push to stand, then I'm going to step my other leg back and come back to kneeling. So I'm alternating what knee I use, practicing being in this kneeling position where one knee is up and one knee is down, getting all the way up to standing. So this is to help us with our floor transfer. And even if you can't get that many done in the time that we're practicing, maybe you get one or two done, but you're able to practice that full floor transfer. That's great. The next one we're going to do 
So that's our first exercise of the sequence or of the um, circuit. The next one is a curtsy lunge. So we've done a variety of lunges. How I'm gonna do this one is, so my right leg is out in front, I'm stepping my left leg behind and lunging like that. So maybe I'll pan my camera down a little bit more so you can see how my feet are stepping. So my right leg is staying, um, staying flat on the ground. I'm stepping my left foot behind and bending that front knee. So I'll show from the side too. So I'm standing on my right leg, left leg steps behind me to lunge and then step back together. And I'm gonna switch sides. And then I'm staying on my left foot, step my right foot behind, bend. So your feet are kind of crossing. It's like you're doing a curtsy. So it's a curtsy lunge. And you can use your hand support as you are doing your lunges. We're gonna alternate back and forth for the full minute. So those two exercises for our first interval, one minute on, 30 seconds off. We'll have two rounds through, and then we'll vary the exercise. So if that is too tricky for you to get up and down from the ground, or you don't feel comfortable doing it in this setting, a great, I'll have you practice the sit to stand transfers that we were doing um, in our warm up. You can do it with or without hands. But that's your option if you're not comfortable getting onto the ground today. So let me pull up our timer. We're starting with the half kneeling to stand. So get your mat ready. Let's go ahead and begin. So step back, come into this half kneeling, and then you can use your hands here or on your knee. Push to stand and then switch. Bring your other leg back, down into kneeling. Now back up to stand. Other leg steps back, come down into a knee. Push to stand. Step your opposite leg back, down, push to stand. Great job, yours are looking really strong. Remember, if you're not comfortable getting onto the ground, Practice getting up and getting down from your chair with or without hands. Great job, everybody. You have 10 seconds left. See so if you can get one more in, one or two more. Three, two, and one. All right, 30 seconds to rest. We're getting ready for our curtsy lunge. So you can use your hand support or without your hands for this next one. Remember, if one foot stays planted, I'm stepping behind the other one to do a lunge. So stepping behind and kind of to the side of it. Five seconds to get ready. Make sure you have support if you want it while you're doing this. All right, let's begin. Step behind, lunge, step together, then the other foot. Step behind, lunge, step together. Step, lunge, together. Step, lunge, together. Looks good. So just a variation of how we do our lunge, working on lower body strength with these two exercises. You are halfway done. Last 20 seconds, keep pushing. With our strength exercises, as you can see, I'm not going for speed. I'd rather have you do a controlled and smooth movement than rush through it. Good job, make sure you keep that posture tall while you're doing these. All right, 30 seconds to rest. We have one more round for each of those. So let's get set up for our floor transfer, half kneeling to standing. Remember, we're varying what foot that steps back as we stand. About 10 seconds left. You have one more round of each of these two exercises. Make sure you're near your couch or your chair if you want some support or just as a backup. So step back, come into kneeling, then we're gonna push to stand, switch legs. Step, come down, 
push back up. Nice job. If this feels steady for you and you're controlling it well, maybe on the next couple, you wanna keep your hands here. As you step back, the couch or the mat is next to you, but you're progressing away from it so that you're just using your hand on your knee. 20 seconds left. Nice control. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. We'll move on, on to our curtsy lunge. So back to our curtsy lunge. So about 20 seconds to get ready. Ready, three, two, and one. So step behind, lunge, step together. Step behind, lunge, step together. Alternating your feet, keep your posture up tall as we go through this. Nice job, everybody. Moving on to some upper body. Your legs are going to get a break after this round. Twenty seconds to go. Keep working hard. Five, four. Three, two, and one. Good job. Grab some water, take a break. So we're getting set up for our upper body circuit now. So I'll start to show you that. I'm gonna have you get back into the kneeling position that we were just in. And if you have weights for this one, you wanna grab your weights. So in this half kneeling position, I'll turn maybe this way so you can see me a little bit better. I'm gonna lean my elbow onto my knee or a great option is to do it next to your chair so that you can hold onto your chair here as a little bit more supportive. And you wanna do a row driving your elbow straight back. So you can see me from the side, I'm leaning over, one knee is up, and I'm keeping my elbow close to my body, driving it straight back. I'll tell you when we're halfway, you can switch sides and switch arms to get your other elbow going straight back. So either again, leaning on your knee or lean on your chair that's next to you like this. If you're not comfortable getting down onto the ground, you can do it while you're sitting in your chair. Lean over onto your knee, keep your elbow close to your body and drive it straight back. Again, I'll tell you when we're halfway and you can switch sides. The next one we can either do in sitting or standing. Working on some shoulder strength while we're working on our posture. So I'm gonna start with my elbows tucked at my side. You can see it's a 90 degree angle here. So I'm gonna turn my elbows out, turn them up, push overhead, back down so that I'm in this kind of field goal position. My hands come down forward, so they're rotating forward, and then they come down. So elbows come up, hands rotate up, push up forward, elbows come down, I'm in this field goal position, rotate forward, come down. So it takes a little bit of coordination, but we're working on our shoulder strength. So go ahead and get into your position for your first exercise. We're starting with that row. 
whether you're sitting in your chair or you can come down into that half kneeling position. You can also just do it bent over leaning on the side of your chair. You could even stand and do it like this. That's another good option. So we have one minute on, 30 seconds off again, two rounds through these two exercises. So join me in whatever position you're comfortable with. All right, I'm gonna get our timer started. You guys ready? Let's begin. So I'll tell you when we're halfway, you're keeping your elbow close to your body, almost like your elbow is pulling on the side of your shirt. So as opposed to keeping it out to the side, keep it tucked in real close as we row. I'll tell you when we're halfway, we can switch sides and switch arms. And you wanna kinda of keep your chest bent forward for this one. That's gonna put your elbow pushing back against gravity. Let's switch sides, switch arms. Again, I'm really leaning forward so that my elbow is pushing up against gravity. It's much harder than if I'm stand, sitting up, standing up tall. So kind of leaning forward for this one, driving your elbow straight back. Nice job. 10 seconds left. All right, back up to standing. Take your time getting up. We're doing our rotation with that overhead press again. So about 15 seconds to get ready. You can do this with or without weights. If your weights start to get heavy at any time, drop the weights and see if you can keep doing the motion just without them. Three, two, and one, my elbows are starting bent at my sides. I'm turning out, rotate up, push overhead, field goal position, turn, and then back down. Elbows come up, rotate up, push up, back down, rotate forward, elbows back in. You guys got it. Stick with the same motion for the full minute. Looking good, nice and smooth. 20 seconds left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. We're going back to our row. So this is a bent over row, whether you're seated, standing, or in half kneeling. You wanna keep your body kind of lean forward so that your elbow is pushing kind of up against gravity as opposed to up like this. Five seconds to get ready. And begin. I'll tell you when we're halfway and we'll switch sides. Elbow stays close to your body for this one. All right, let's switch sides halfway. Elbow stays close to your body, bent over. Elbow's coming straight back. Three, two, and one. All right, take your time coming back up to standing. We're doing our shoulder raises again. Last round. We'll get a water break after this one. 
still about 10 seconds or so to get ready. All right, let's begin. We'll start in this elbows at 90 degrees, rotate out, turn up, overhead raise, field goal position, rotate down and elbows come in. So my elbows stay bent through this whole time until they straighten here. Looks good. Out, rotate up, push up, back down, rotate down and turn in. Good, halfway done. Nice job, everybody. Keep working hard. Five seconds left. All right, grab a water break. Nice job. One more round of strength exercises. So I have two more exercises to show you. You don't have to join me yet. Just keep your eyes on the camera while you're taking a break. So we're gonna start with our feet in the middle. And for this one, I want you to take a big step out. We're gonna do a three pulse squat. Either hands are kind of up in front of you, holding a weight, or you can have your hands on the chair. We're gonna pulse one, two, three, then step back together, step out to the other side, wide step, one, two, three, step together. So we're alternating what side we step to. You don't have to join me yet. You can still keep taking your break, but I'm just gonna start to introduce these next two. And then this next one is gonna be a modified mountain climber. So if you have a couch near you that, um, that you can use, that's a great place to do this from. Uh, because I want to see if we can move sideways while we do this mountain climber. So for the modified mountain climber, I'm gonna get into this plank position where my hands are on this bed here. And for a standard mountain climber, I'm alternating what knee lifts forward. I wanna see if you, if you have a couch available <clears throat> or the side of your bed or something like that. I wanna see if we can walk sideways while we're marching our knees up and then walk to the other side as you're marching your knees up. So not only are we getting that knee up and down, but we're working on moving sideways throughout that. If you, if that, if you don't have that set up available, if we're just working with like the side of your chair, then you can stay here and work on your mountain climber. But if you have the side of your bed or a couch available, See if you can add that side to side movement. If you're not comfortable getting into um, that modified plank position, work on your marching seated in your chair while you're maintaining your posture tall. Two rounds, one minute on, 30 seconds off. We're starting with that side stepping pulse lunge. Ready? Let's begin. So step out, one, two, three, step in. Now to the other side, step out, one, two, three, step in again. I can hold weight here. I can hold on to my chair, however you're comfortable. I want you to exaggerate that side step and then lift your knee high to step in. You guys are looking good. Halfway done. If this feels easy, you can always add weight at any time, make it more challenging. 10 seconds left. Three, two, and one. All right, let's get set up for our mountain climber. So your mountain climber can be stationary. Where it's staying in one spot, or you can move side to side as you do it. About 10 seconds to get ready. So this is the 
kind of modified plank position that we're going to get in as you move side to side. Three seconds to get ready and begin. So I'm still doing my mountain climber, but I'm walking my hands down to the edge of this bed as I do it, and I'm working my way back. See if you can keep your back flat and your hips down as you do this. Remember, if you're sitting in your chair, I want you to work on marching. Good job, everybody. Halfway done. Last 15 seconds, keep working hard. Five, four, three, two, and one. Step in, take your time, stand up tall. We're gonna reset for our alternating uh, stepping squats. One more round through each of those. This is our last bit of circuit work today. You guys are doing really well. 10 seconds to get ready. All right, let's begin. Wide step, three pulse squat. One, two, three, step in. Other side, step out, three pulses step in. One minute here. This is the last time you'll see this exercise today. Need a chair to hold on to. You can always put your hands in front of you on your chair, the back of your couch where you have something to hold on to. Halfway done. Nice job, everybody. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, get set up for our last exercise. This is our mountain climber. As a reminder, if you're sitting in your chair, I want you to work on seated marches. You can still do the marches with us, even if you're not in the modified plank position. Five seconds to get ready. I'm getting into this modified plank where my legs are back. And let's begin either doing a mountain climber stationary or if you have a bed or a couch that you're using, see if you can walk sideways as you're doing the marching. So combining those two movements together, the march and a sideways walk. Looking really strong, everybody. Halfway done. Last 30 seconds, push hard. Last 15 seconds. Three, two, and one. Step in, stand up tall, grab some water, nicely done. Those were really tough, good job. And just seeing the chat message. Are we doing the curtsy in honor of the queen? That was not my intention, but yes, let's say it was. That's awesome. We've had the, the kind of arrangements going on all day at the clinic today. It's been kind of fun to watch. So Carly's going to get us started next with our prone power moves. 
and I will be doing them in a chair kind of behind her here so you can follow along with me if you're not comfortable getting onto the ground. I'll try to stay back here so she has room. Take another minute before we get started. Carly's just gonna get into position. But if you're grabbing your water, still take another minute here, we got time. One more minute then we'll meet on the ground. great modification for the power moves on the ground that Carly's showing you are doing them um, with something under your stomach so that you're propping a little bit. So I'll have Carly show with this bolster here. If you have pillows or some kind of, some kind of ball, this is a great way to get into the prone position. Your belly's on that. So this is a great way to get into this position where you're way more supported. So she has this bolster all the way underneath her stomach. That's giving her a lot of, a lot of support so that all the weight's not on her arms. So you can do this with pillows. If you have a small ball, that's a great way to get yourself used to this position if it's new for you. Thank you. All right, so Carla's gonna get us started. Make your way down if you're not there already. All right. Okay, so the first one we're doing is that power up. So what we're gonna do is our elbows are out kind of like chicken wings to start. Our head is down and we're gonna slide those elbows in and pop up. Perfect, I'm gonna do that one more time. So we're starting, elbows are out towards the side like chicken wings. We're gonna bring them in and pop up and then come back down. We're gonna do that 10 times, okay? So elbows in and up, that's one, down and out. Up and in, down and out, that's two. Three, up, down, four, up, down, five, up, down that six, up, down that seven, up, eight, yeah. up, nine, one more, down, up, and down, that's 10. Good job. All right, now the next one we're gonna do is that power rock. So what we're doing is our elbows, are down on the ground and we're going to take, we'll start with our right hand. So we'll take our right hand and we're reaching across our body towards the left and coming back in. And then we'll do the left across our body over to the right and back in. So that would be one. We're gonna count by twos. So we're gonna go up to 20, okay? So starting with the right hand, reaching across and back in, left, Across, that's two. Up, across, up, across, that's four. Up, across, up, across, that's six. Up, across, up, across, that's eight. Good, really spread those fingers, 10. 12, reach across that body, 14, 16, 18, plus wide fingers, 20. Good job. Okay, now the next one is that power twist. So with this, what we're doing, Scoot up a little bit. <laughs> so we're starting up like this and let's go. We're gonna roll towards our, we're gonna roll over our right shoulder. So our left leg comes up 
We stay on our, my right shoulders on the ground. I'm taking my left arm and I'm reaching across, <laughs> reaching across my body, feeling a nice long stretch. And I'm gonna bring that left arm back and then roll back onto my stomach. So now if we're going towards the opposite way, we're gonna land, roll on our left shoulder. Our right knee is still touching the ground. Right arm is coming back across our body. Good. And then bring that right arm back and roll back onto our stomach. So that's one. All right, we're gonna do 10 of those. So let's go ahead and we'll start where we're rolling on towards our right shoulder. So we're gonna roll towards the right, bring that left knee up on the ground, reaching across, good. Coming back, good. Rolling on our left side, right knee up, reaching across, that's one. Good, coming back, rolling on our right, left arms opening up, getting a stretch. Coming back, good. This way, good, that's two. Bringing it back, good. That's three. Rolling on the right, left arm coming close, good. That's four. Reach your cross. Good. Make sure we're keeping those fingers spread wide. Get a nice long stretch. Good. That's five. We're halfway. Good. Making sure our knee stays on the ground. <laughs> Good. That's six. I lost my count. <laughs> Good. And seven. Three more. <laughs> Good. Eight. Two more, we're almost there. Good job, guys. Cross. Good. Good. Last one right here. Good. Good job. All right. Now, the last part is we have that power step. So, we're going to go back to our base position, elbows are bent underneath our shoulders. What we're doing is we'll start with the right hand. So we're just taking a hand up and out, up and in. Now left, up and out, up and in. So that's one. We're gonna do that 10 times as well. So we'll start with the right hand. So we're gonna go up, out, up, in. Up, out, up, in. Up, out, up, in, up, out, and in. That's two. Keep those fingers spread. Good, that's three. Good. Four. Five. Halfway. Six, good. Really lift that arm up and out. Good. Seven. Eight, two more. Good. Nine. Last one. Good. Awesome. Now what we're gonna do, that's fine, I'm gonna try. 
we're going to run through those positions again, but we're going to do them as a flow. So we're going to run through as well. We'll start with our power up, I'm coming up, out, coming back in, right arm reaching across, coming back in, left arm reaching across, coming back in. Now we're doing that power twist. So I'm rolling on my side, opening that left arm up, coming back in, rolling on my left shoulder, opening that right arm up and coming back in, right arm up and out, in, left, up, out, back in. Okay, these are your five. We're gonna run through those, we're gonna do about five of those, okay? So again, we'll start in our position. So our elbows are out to the side, head is down. Power up. And now I'm going to reach right, come back, reach left, come back, roll onto our right, twisting together. We have our left, reach and twist. Good. Now we're going to do our up and out. In, out, in. So that's one. Four more. So again, coming down, up, right across, back in, left across, back in, going on our right, open, left, open, good. And we're up, out, in. Good. That's two. Three more. Up and right and left and on our side. Good. Left. Right arm up and out. Left up and out. Good. That's three. Two more. So up and reach. Good. Right on our right. Twisting, left, right up and out, back in, left up and out, back in. Good. Last one. Power up, right, left, twist, twist, power out. In, out, and in. Good job. That was that full flow. So now what we're gonna do, we've got a few more minutes. We're just gonna do a couple of our, some core exercises. So if you're comfortable laying on your mat, I'm gonna give um, you guys a break. We're gonna lay on our backs, okay? So take your time getting into that position. And if you're not comfortable on the floor, you can do these in a chair. We're just gonna do some supine marches. So with this, we really wanna focus on keeping our core nice and tight. So again, you wanna focus belly button towards your spine. We're engaging that core. What we're gonna do, we're gonna lift our right leg up, back down, left up, back down. All while keeping that core engaged. If that is too easy, what you can do is you keep your right leg up, bring your left up. Right down, left down. Right up, and down. We're gonna do 10 of these. Down, that's one. Down, down, that's two. Three. That's five. Down, down. Keep that core engaged. Seven. Last one. Good. We have time for one more. In this position, what we're going to do is we're going to do a bridge. So we're working on keeping that core nice and tight. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna belly button to spine, engaging that core. I'm gonna lift my bottom up off the ground and slowly bring it back down. We're gonna do that 10 times. So core is engaged, lifting that bottom up, slowly coming back down. That's one. Up and down, two. Up and down, that's three. Four, good, keep that core engaged. Five, halfway. Up and down, seven. Eight. Try not to lose that core. Last one, up and down, that's 10. Good. So now we'll do a little bit of a cool down and a stretch. Mm -hmm. So if you're comfortable staying on your mat, what we'll do is we'll just start with a nice deep breath in, arms above your head. We'll exhale, let those arms drop. Good. That's why we're going to do that three times. So inhale, arms up. Exhale arms down to your side. One more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down to your side. All righty. So if you're still on the ground, what we're going to do is we're going to stretch your hamstrings next. Katie can show it in the chair. What we're going to do is going to bend one knee and we'll keep the, the other leg straight. I want you to reach just down towards your shin until you feel a slight pull in the back of your knee. Good. And go to where it's comfortable. We don't want this to be painful. We're just stretching some of the muscles. Good. And then slowly come back up. And we'll switch legs. So right leg's going out. Bending that left. Again, reaching down towards my toes until I feel a stretch. We're gonna hold. Good, and come back up. Good, all right, let's just do, we'll do a couple neck circles to kind of loosen back up. So go ahead and just circle your neck around. Good. Good, and try to reverse the direction now. One more. Good. Awesome. All right. Thanks for joining us today, guys. Yeah, thank you, guys. Great job. We'll see you next week. Thank you for a good job. You guys have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your Thank you. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Carly. Great job. Great job, you have guys. Have a good day, Winona. Okay. Really good workout. You have a great day. Bye, guys.